I'm standing here in Nuego in front of um, Shannon's home, her childhood home, and her father Bob still lives here, uh, right downtown Nuego. So I'm going to walk you through the case a little bit and um, just give you kind of the highlights of, of the case and um, tell you a little bit about it. It was a cold case for 24 years. They um, made arrests in 2014 and the trial was in 2015 and the suspects were actually um, convicted and sentenced and put into prison in 20, uh, 2015. But Shannon Siders at the time of her death was a high school senior. It was just after her senior year um, and it was the summer and she, she was a friendly, outgoing, person. She had a lot of friends. She had a new dog. Uh, she was living with just her father and her grandmother. Um, actually, her grandmother had passed away a month before she did. And she lived here in this house with her dad and basically kind of, you know, did a lot of stuff around the house to help take care of him. She was also on, on that cusp of adulthood where she was maybe doing a few little rebellious things and kind of, you know, spreading her wings a little bit, sowing her wild oats. And, um, she she was looking for a job. She was starting to kind of get her life together. She had a really serious boyfriend, and they were even talking about getting married. Uh, so she, you know, she lived in this town in Nuego. She had a pretty um, pretty sheltered existence. Didn't drive a lot. Kind of stayed close to home. And um, it was um, on a summer night in July that she disappeared. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in our next vlogs.